Stem cells are the only reagent, the only thing known to medical science, the only technology in the world that has the capacity to treat every single human disease. I think we're entering a, a revolution with stem cells that can fundamentally not just affect medicine but society as a whole, possibly even change life expectancy, the duration of life. We've never in the modern era endorsed the instrumental use of human beings at any of their stages of development for medical research. That means that from here on out we're going to have many arguments about what uses can be made of living human organisms and embryonic stem cell research is the first symbolic battle on this much larger discussion. Heart disease, Parkinson's, diabetes, cancer, strokes. These are among the leading causes of death in the United States with millions more still alive and suffering. But what if science discovered a cure for these maladies? What if medicine could reverse degenerative diseases, regenerate healthy tissue and damaged organs, repair spinal cord injuries, and eliminate paralysis? Would it be worth the price to pay? Would it be worth any price? In 1963, researchers defined special cells in the body that have the ability to regenerate and reproduce other kinds of cells. They called them stem cells. In 1981, scientists derived the first embryonic stem cells from mouse embryos, which ultimately led to the pursuit of human embryonic stem cells. 1998 was really the beginning of human embryonic stem cell research. That was the year that it was determined that you could actually create them in humans. So it did change everything and it created, it created an entire new field. Some claimed it was only a matter of time before these cultured stem cells could be used in medical therapy for a number of significant degenerative conditions. But there were problems. There were those that looked at the promise of it and that there were those that, that had great fear about it, that this would cause embryos to be created simply for the purpose of, of later destroying them and creating embryonic stem cell lines. So there was a huge polarization about it. In 2001, in response to these ethical concerns, the Bush administration became the first to allow federal funds to be used for embryonic stem cell research and only on specific stem cell lines already created. This allows us to explore the promise and potential of stem cell research without crossing a fundamental moral line that would sanction or encourage further destruction of human embryos. Researchers could continue to engage in privately funded and state-funded embryonic stem cell research, but the federal government was divided and political war erupted. Do not destroy innocent human life for any reason. Stem cell research is an integral part of finding a cure for this disease. The disposable human life mentality. Why isn't it getting done? And my answer is, I don't know. I can't see where you're going. You can't see where you're going. Okay, this I thought it was a, a very uh, well thought out and indeed brave decision because um, if you look at any decision where there are competing sides, if you have um, upset all sides, you've probably made the right decision. And that's indeed what he did. Celebrities joined the debate, providing a strong emotional appeal, some of them personally affected by the issue. I have a keen interest in research and I'm deeply disturbed by unreasonable attempts to block scientific progress. Our government's supposed to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Beyond that, we have a moral responsibility to help others. Time is absolutely critical. I have found comfort in my heartfelt view that embryonic stem cell research is truly life-affirming. We have an extraordinary opportunity to eradicate these diseases that are haunting, haunting our, our friends, friends and families. families. At this point, only embryonic stem cells can produce enough of the neurons needed for cell replacement by a factor of millions. You know, I'm concerned that celebrities are being used to advance a cause here. I'm concerned that they're being used, that they're not given perhaps all of the facts, um, that perhaps they've been um, sold a bill of goods, which a lot of this, uh, this research is advancing this kind of hyped up, we need to do it now. And you find a uh, public policy advocacy campaign 
That is pretty awesome, but it's also profoundly deceptive and disingenuous. So why the controversy? Why the polarization? Should there be ethical restrictions involved in stem cell research? Or should science be unhindered by moral restraint? <laughs>